he goes missing and y'all trade text messages? What's up with that? Well, that's how he let me know that Dylan was missing. And what did you do when you got that text? I tried to call him directly thereafter, and then um, I texted him back. And you, you, you didn't talk on the phone? No. He is not, he, he's been very evasive. He um, spoke with our older son um, for right, right after it happened. Did you stay after him until you talked to him? No, I didn't. I mean, I texted him, um, but I didn't continuously call him. And then after texting, he blocked me from his phone, so I can't even text him anymore. So your son uh, has been missing for three months, yes. and his mother and father have not talked. Right. And I've asked that him. That is beyond bizarre to me. I'm sorry. That mm -hmm. is just, I, I don't care if you two had beat each other to a pulp, I called agree. each other everything but decent. It wouldn't matter to me if my son was missing. All bets are off. All picadillos are gone. I can't imagine the two of you wouldn't That's wouldn't why I'm talk. here, Dr. Phil, because I need a forum to be able to speak with him. I've, I've asked on many occasions to um, meet with him, with, with a mediator, without a mediator. I don't think we need a mediator because I have no issues with my ex-husband. I just want to find my son. So he went to visit... This was a scheduled visitation yes. with his father. Yes. And he's going to be there for Thanksgiving. Yes. He arrives, and you said he was not happy about being there because it was so isolated. And, and his dad didn't really do stuff with him. So yeah, well, just... you didn't say that. You said that you got a message from him that says, I have arrived, yes. and he gave you an unhappy face. Yes. And, and you said because it was so isolated. You didn't say because he didn't like his dad, because he didn't do anything with him. You said because it was so isolated out there. It was isolated, yes. <clears throat> and there was not a lot for Dylan to do. Your son, like a lot of 14-year-olds, was a real techie type, right? Yes. I mean, they live on these smartphones and they text a lot. He did text all, all the time. Right. And... At 9.30 that night, all texting stopped. Yes. Is that unusual? Absolutely, especially when he's up there. Because he's a text animal. He, he, yes. That was his lifeline to the world. He, exactly. He, he was texting. So right up till 9.30, he's texting, and then just zip, zero. So he could have gone to sleep, right? 9.30 seems a little early for Dylan, but... Okay. Um, what time would he usually go to sleep? Probably about 11, midnight, somewhere around Okay, there. so 9.30 would be early. 9.30 would be early, and it's definitely early for him to stop texting, especially when he, he was so excited to see his friends.